Hello guys, and tell me please, would you like to travel to North Korea? Perhaps not, but even if yes, it is very likely that Kim Chen In won't let us in. But he gladly invites Russians, especially after his last visit to Federation this autumn. On many Russian travel web pages, you will find open invitations to discover beautiful totalitarian hell of North Korea, compare it with Russian dictatorship and enjoy some skiing. Actually, it's terrifying how quickly the bonds between two dictatorships grow and they supply them not only with travel offers, but with missiles that they later target on Ukraine and can target on anyone else. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. I know, North Korean regime seems funny. If you see the face of Kim Jong Un, you cannot believe this is a person who controls everything and life of every citizen. But it is the reality of North Korea. Actually, I don't know how they feel, because all the documentaries are very short. They do not demonstrate all the terror and misery of life in North Korea, but people are zombied. Something similar that Russian population experiences at this moment. What is worse, such regimes cooperate really quickly and effectively, without any negotiations, papers, bureaucracy or other stuff. And there are lots of evidence that North Korea supplies Russia with missiles and other things they need for construction of weapons and using them against Ukraine. What is worse, these are not just our suspicions, but these are the results of intelligence analysis from the UK, from the USA, and uh, people speak openly about that. Actually, it's quite difficult to identify, for example, a ballistic missile, which travels really quickly, explodes, especially if stopped by air defense system, and it is divided into tiny pieces. So to identify the production place is quite difficult, but there are some evidence proving that North Korea gives its missiles for Russia to target Ukraine. Why Russia needs that? Well, because they cannot produce that many ballistic missiles that are really fast and really bad for air defense systems. They are almost impossible to identify. And second, because North Korea likes testing them on Ukraine. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel and demonstrate your solidarity with the democratic world and fighters of Ukraine. According to the intelligence services of uh, Southern Korea, and I actually feel very sorry for this country so closely located to the terrorist regime, just as we are with Russia. So South Korea leaders say they witness how many huge boxes, like millions of artillery supplies, uh, North Korea sends to Russia. But they are also worried that Ukraine or any other democratic state can be used by Russian and North Korean regimes as a testing ground for their nuclear weapons. Uh, you know that uh, the typical behavior of North Korea is to threaten the world, uh, specifically with the development of nuclear weapons. And that's what they do right now, demonstrating a new construction, a new ballistic missile capable of carrying a tactic, a nuclear supply. And why are they showing that? Uh, also, uh, they do it not for free, because like they are dictators, they always use every opportunity and uh, Russia supplies them with some necessary skills, knowledge and technologies. From what I know, recently uh, North Korea had its satellite, which was quite technical, not enough for quality spy work, but now with the support of Russian scientists, uh, they will be able to develop it better. which causes lots of trouble in that part of the world and also demonstrates us how quickly, how closely these authoritarian regimes cooperate, shaping new uh, zone of danger. And um, once again, underlying that this is not war between Russia and Ukraine. This is a war between democracies and dictatorships. And dictatorships are not that weak. 
and uh, everyone is worried, uh, people in um, South Korea, people in Ukraine, people who understand that North Korea is a threat and it actually demonstrates how sanctions do not work. Because we deal with very zombified, very unusual and very different from us societies that do not care about basic needs. They will not go on strikes because they don't have enough heat in their houses or because petrol is getting expensive. They've got used to that. They see enemies everywhere. They live in this totally stressful environment for generations and they don't care about sanctions. So Russia actually repeats the path of North Korea. It was always closer to that dictatorship style of life, even in times of Russian Empire, of course, in Soviet Union. But now they are reaching this peak and from some extent, North Korea does not feel that isolated anymore. They have a friend in Russia. They have all Russia. And imagine if North Korea grows to the size of Russia, the largest country in the world. That's exactly what is happening. But it also demonstrates the weakness because Russia is not capable of production all the weapons it needs. And that's actually another explanation that even big, angry Russia that inherited all the weapons of the Soviet Union needs support. So Ukraine does need your support. And if we see how things are evolving, we have to be very effective, very fast. And we have to demonstrate total collapse of Putin and his plans, because otherwise other North Koreas, other authoritarian regimes will try to repeat the success of Putin. I know you know that. I also know there is a proverb in Ukraine. I don't know if it's common in English. Tell me who your friend is and I'll tell you who you are. So Putin's friend is Kim Chen In. And our friends are all people who care for human life, freedom, dignity and democracy. So thank you so much for standing with us. But we have to stand strong because they are evil. They are shrewd. Uh, they hope they will manage to take over the planet with all of their evil. But I believe God prevails, good prevails, and we don't have other choice. Come on. So thank you so much for your support. Remember to subscribe to my Instagram threads and Twitter and join my Discord community. All the links are below this video in the description. Also, we have a good merch shop and you can find some interesting reminders about Ukraine there. And uh, thank you so much for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and helping me evolve. Thank you once again. Slava Ukraini!